Hi, I'm Judy Williams. I'm a supervisor in interpreting services, and the purpose of this video is to show you how to use VRI, which stands for Video Remote Interpreting. This you would use uh, with a deaf patient when our staff interpreters are unavailable. Um, this technology is wonderful, as you're about to see, and we have multiple VRIs throughout the hospital. There is one in the ED, there is one in PEDS ED, there is one in the nursing supervisor's closet. Our office, Interpreting Services, has two that we are able to bring to you. And then um, off-site, Rose Hill Plaza has one, Parkview Mount Airy has one, and soon Crestwood will have one as well. So what you would do with this, um, you would get this machine which is plugged in when not in use to keep it recharged but you don't have to have it unplugged if you're about to use it and you would bring it to the patient's bedside the directions for operating it are on the machine itself for this video I'm just going to go through it with you right now uh, but if in the event that you had to refresh your memory the, all the directions are right here the laptop is normally on. If it's not, you just boot it up the way you would any laptop computer and then log in. The login screen automatically fills in and then the password is capital letters CARE. All that information is right on here. So once you've booted it up, the icon is right in the center of the monitor and I'm going to show you how to connect to an interpreter. I'll double click to launch it. This screen autofills, and I'm just going to click Next. This screen has um, gender, which we usually just take any. If it were a situation that was very sensitive, that you needed a male or female specifically as an interpreter, you could select that here. We keep this on American Sign Language. Um, I am going to fill this out. This is asking for my name, the patient's name, and the department name. So I'm going to just step right in front of you here. And, oops. Patient name, John Doe, Peds. And now I'm going to click Locate Agents. When you get to this screen, you're going to go ahead and choose Place Call. For the purposes of this demonstration, however, I'm going to, I have a special interpreter lined up for this demonstration, so I'm going to drop down and select her. When she comes on, you will notice that she gives her sign-in information, including her name and identification number. That should be recorded in the patient's chart in case there were ever a question you needed to go back. I believe she will also sign off with the same information. And now I'm going to place the call. When it starts up, I have the chance to stand in front of this. I'm going to see myself first. And then I can see to adjust this. You can raise or lower the machine with this handle right here. You squeeze it. Um, you can lower it if the patient's bedside or however you need it. I'm going to have it right here for this demonstration. Thank you for calling Life. This is Interpreter 130. My name is Anne. Good morning. Thank you. This is the training demonstration. And as you can see, the interpreter begins interpreting what I say. I will start by clicking right here to enlarge this window so that she now fills the screen. And what I will do then is turn and I, if the patient were right here, I would position the VRI so the patient can see the interpreter and the interpreter can see the patient. And likewise, the interpreter will guide me as well uh, regarding lighting or whether she can hear me or not. And how is everything? Can you see, interpreter? I can. Thank you. Okay, so I would lower her down maybe a little. And then I would stand right beside the interpreter and speak directly to the patient looking at the patient, not at the interpreter, because really I am talking to the patient. And the reason I stand right beside the VRI is so the patient can look back and forth without having to turn their head too far. Um, and this is basically it. And this is how you get a bedside interpreter using the VRI technology. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
much. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. And then I will X out of the program right here. And that is the end of it. And then when you're finished with the VRI, you can X out all the way and return it to wherever it was living. Or if it's a patient who's staying for a while, you can leave the VRI in their room. Um, the only other thing to tell you about this technology is if you have any trouble with it, there is a troubleshooting guide on each machine. It's this pink paper. It addresses any number of problems, including some simple things like if there's a sound problem or it's muted, you go down here like you would on any computer and click on the speaker button. As you can see, the volume's all the way up. There is a mute button, and that's not clicked. Sometimes it might have been. Um, so that's one thing. Also, once in a while, you might have trouble getting the wireless connection. This uses the hospital wireless connection. And the switch is down here on the side of the computer. It's got a little signal from a control tower. It's usually never an issue. But if that were, were switched off, that might be a problem as well. And as you can see, the on-off switch is here when you first fire up the computer. There that is. And that's it. That's how we get the interpreter using VRI. If you have any questions, you can call me at 2252. Thank you.